Ready. <laughs> okay. Hey y'all, good afternoon. Luke Jones, Remax New Orleans. Here with uh, Lizzie and Mitch at Bayou Title in Mandeville. Congratulations on the uh, sale of your new home, guys. Thank you. Really Thank happy you. for you. And um, you know, I've met um, Lizzie and Mitch from Lizzie's father, uh, Tom. Uh, Y'all were from Houston, mm -hmm. and Tom and I were uh, in the same real estate coaching community called Buy Referral Only. And um, you were a little uncertain about making the move from home. Yeah. And because all this time you were thinking about your father, mm -hmm. him helping you with your house in, mm -hmm. in Houston. And you were transferred for your job, right, Mitch? Yes, transferred from Houston to the well, to New Orleans, but living up here on the North Shore. Yeah, yeah. So we met about a year and a half ago, and I remember on our first Zoom call, Lizzie, you were like, I asked you about uh, your your stress level, if, if you were kind of feeling a little uneasy about making the move, and yeah. uh, I said on a on a scale of one low ten high. How did you feel? And you were like, I'm at a 12. <laughs> you know, you, so, that sounds right. <laughs> so a year and a half, you know, you want to get acclimated to the North Shore, mm -hmm. kind of feel out the area, mm -hmm. think about the neighborhoods. So what was your experience like uh, when this home came on the market in September, about five days after we had met? Mm -hmm. What was your experience like uh, when, when you saw the house come on the market and uh, y'all were thinking about it? Tell me a little bit about how that thought process came about. Well, Liz was looking on her phone and had always been tracking what homes were coming available in Vitico Creek and all the areas that we were kind of looking at. So when she finally found the one that was on the street where we wanted to be, in the neighborhood where we wanted to be, yeah. it started up kickstarting us into moving it for a little bit quicker than what we had really anticipated when we talked before, mm -hmm. moving it up a few months uh, yeah. so that way we could buy into the community and the street where we wanted to. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, because your plans were to just rent until May of this year, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, originally. Then, but when this house came on the market on this street that you wanted and the price point that you were thinking about, mm -hmm. and I remember you telling me, Mitch, that uh, the kitchen was a real important focal point of the home that you wanted to buy. Yes, the, and that's a huge, huge one. For that me. was a huge one for you. Yeah, and so this is the only house you all saw. But it's the only one we walked through, yeah. Yeah, but you kept an eye on it for like two months, mm -hmm. and it came yes. down thirty-four thousand in price point, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had the swing for that, and then that was kind of where it got into our into our price range, and we thought we should jump on it before somebody else did. So. Yeah. You beat the competition by jumping on it, right? Yes. It, it, when we saw the house, we contacted Rob Showband right away mm -hmm. and uh, got you pre-approved. Mm -hmm. We beat the competition because we knew when the price was dropping, other people would be interested as well. Right. Yes. What was most memorable, looking back uh, throughout this process, what was most memorable, memorable about it? Um, for me, I'll, I don't want to speak for Liz, but for me it was uh, just the ease of doing the transaction, the ease of being the availability for you guys to come mm. and help us out, walk us through, and uh, I mean just overall just that, that made it the stress level for us on the purchase side go down, being this is our first house. So mm -hmm. your first house, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think like with it being our first house, we've never been through this process before. And so it was a lot of information, a lot of paperwork and everything at the very beginning. But I remember um, Rob calling us and was like, yeah, you're good to go. The next three weeks are going to be really boring for you. And we're like, mm -hmm. what does that even mean? But <laughs> he was right. Like, y'all were able to get so much done at the very beginning yeah. that the rest of the month was easy going. <laughs> well, just more time for packing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we, we took a lot of things, take care of it up, up, up front. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of things up front. That way it was a smooth transaction throughout, right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. What, what exactly. would you tell others if they were thinking about buying a home in this market, mm -hmm. how, interest rates are a little higher, price points are, are flattening a little bit. What would you say to somebody who's thinking about buying a home but just not exactly sure? Because you went through that thought process, right, Mitch? Right, so, uh, I mean, what being that we were renters before, is that if you're in a renting situation, to go ahead and do it, um, start building the equity in, in your name and, and family name, if, if that's what it is. And yeah. that way you can, it, you can always refinance later. <laughs> and there's always. always, there's always another time where you can do that, um, but take the plunge, do it, and, uh, but for someone who's already in a home is 
you know, you can always yes. find the spot where you want to be. And again, you can always refinance later. Yeah, refinance later because there's only one or two times in life, perhaps, that an opportunity presents itself like this home mm -hmm. on the street that you wanted. Mm -hmm. Your boss lives on the street. Correct. You're familiar with the street. The street that you're living on now, you're moving to, it has the reputation of the best street in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's a thousand plus homes in this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So you went ahead and made the plunge. Yeah. And, you, and you trusted me in, the, in walking you through this process because of the relationship that I have with your father. Mm -hmm. Trust report went a long way with you, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I asked you many times, if you were my dad, uh -huh. like put your shoes in my dad's position. Yeah. Like, if you're yeah. my dad, is this a good, good offer? Is this a good thing we're doing? And you were confident to say that it was. So I trusted you because my dad trusted you. So how that you, meant a lot. How do you feel now? Really great. I'm excited to go <laughs> to our new home. <laughs> appreciate you guys. Congratulations. Thanks a lot for everything. Thanks, Thank Luke. you. Thanks, Rob. We appreciate it. Yeah, Rob. Thanks a lot, buddy. Good work.